What went wrong? That's the question on the minds of many tonight after a school resource officer takes his own life. It happened while class was in session at Eastern Technical High in Essex. WJC is live outside the high school. George Solis with the latest on the investigation and an exclusive interview with a student who says he spoke with the officer today. George. That's right, Vic. That student tells me he spoke with Officer Joe Kamenga about an hour before things took a dramatic turn here on campus. He, like many, says there were no warning signs or red flags leading up to the tragedy. A school resource officer in title, but to some students, he was much more. He was genuinely a, a kind person, and you wouldn't think there would be anything wrong. Eastern Tech High School sophomore Gillian Robles was in class Monday when word first spread that Officer Joseph Kamenga had fatally shot himself in his office. Robles telling me the tragedy unfolded about an hour after he had a brief exchange with Kamenga in the halls. He smiled at me. He was, he, he said his day was going good and he asked me the same. Before 1230, emergency crews raced to the high school which was put on lockdown. Baltimore County Police later confirming Officer Kamenga was discovered by faculty after hearing what they believe was a single gunshot coming from his office in the school's basement. The officer was alone. Only one gun was found at the scene. Authorities say the gun used was his service weapon. Officials now investigating the case as a suicide, also using the school's security cameras to rule out any possible foul play. There was no one else in the officer at the time the gunshot occurred. Preliminarily, we believe that it is a self-inflicted gunshot wound. He was quickly rushed to nearby MedStar Franklin Square Medical Center, where he was pronounced dead. What was the reaction around campus among students, teachers, faculty? Everyone was shocked because you wouldn't expect that. It was as if the record skipped. Kamenga was a 21-year veteran of the force, having spent 12 years as a school resource officer, four of those years working at Eastern Tech. The focus now shifting in figuring out what, if anything, sparked such an unexpected tragedy. Now, police say Officer Kamenga was wearing a body camera, but it was not activated at the time. A school will reopen tomorrow at its normal time with crisis counselors on hand for anyone that needs them. Live in Essex tonight, George Solis reporting for WJZ.